everyone. Welcome back to our devotion time. Today is April 9th and the devotion is titled My First Love from Revelation 2, 3 through 5. I know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake and you have not grown weary, but I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember therefore from where you have fallen, repent and do the works you did at first. All we need is you, Lord. What can the world offer us that will not perish? What can the world give that can withstand God's refining fire? When we are tested, everything else will fall away. Only our love for him will remain. Our salvation cannot be stolen from us. God's love for us cannot be quenched. Remember the early days of your walk with Jesus, the way your eyes were open to understanding, how your heart was broken in love, your arms were lifted in praise and your knees bent in repentance. God wants that. He misses the desperation you had for him, the focused time you spent in his word, and the joy you found in prayer. His love for you is not diminished. Can you find your first love again? You know, we all struggle in this way. We talked about it yesterday not walking away from our faith, not allowing ourselves to live day to day without filling ourselves with His Holy Spirit, with His Word, with prayer and with time spent with Him. It makes me weep when I read this because I'm thinking about how much it must hurt Him. how much he misses each one of us when we, f we start to grow lukewarm and even cold. When we fall back on his grace and use it as an excuse almost to ourselves that we can get away with, oh, God understands. He understands, fill in the blank, fill in the blank. You know, we do do that. We talk ourselves into believing that it's okay. Well, God knows my heart. But even though he knows your heart, yes, he does know your heart. He knows your heart better than you do. And if you're, if we, I'm going to say we, because it's me too. If we are able to talk ourselves into believing that it's okay to not have that passion anymore because I've been with the Lord for years or whatever, then I would say there's something in our heart that yes, God knows about that maybe we don't. Maybe we're not acknowledging that there's something not right there. There's something pulling us away from him. And we need to, we need to find out what that is and repent and ask the Lord to forgive us. What have we put before him? Is it just ourselves, our daily life, our schedule, our kids, our husband, our church, our ministry? Because you can be in ministry and you can be so busy that you don't have any time for him. Trust me, I've been there. I've been ordained since the year 2000. I've been licensed since 1998. I have done a lot of different ministries and had a lot of experience. And I can tell you in those 20, what, six years, that are 25 years, I've had times where I was too busy. So if you're too busy or too focused on crafting, let's just say it because it can even be that. Let's make some time to get, to get back into a love relationship with our father. He misses us. And because of his sacrifice for us, we owe him everything. He owes us, even if God never did another thing for us, which we know that he will, but even if he never did another thing, but give us Jesus and bring salvation, that was enough. He gave his all. And I, for one, want to give mine. Let's pray. Father God, we want you to be our first love. And we want to remember the love that we had for you at first. And we want to walk in that love. 
Father, you really are all we need. And Lord, I for one confess that there are a lot of times when I don't feel when I don't seek and then I wonder why I feel alone inside of myself Father forgive me I pray that you would fill my heart today once again with passion for you and I lift up my family in Christ that's listening and praying with me that we would all love you with passion and fire in our hearts and that we would never put the things of this world and this life above the God who sacrificed everything for us so that we could live. We ask your forgiveness today, Father, and we praise you. We love you and we thank you for bringing our attention every day back to where it belongs. Thank you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love you guys. Thank you for listening and thank you for letting me talk to you about these very serious matters. I don't ever take this time for granted. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.